You're looking at a 3D motion sculpture of NBA superstar LeBron James. Welcome to What the Future. On today's show, LeBron James like you've never seen him before, a robot performs surgery on human eyes, and an exosuit that lets you run farther on less energy. All right, check this out. A computer generated this 3D image of King James in motion using standard 2D video. Scientists at MIT call this MoSculpt. They essentially developed an algorithm that detects two-dimensional key points on the subject, like the hip or the knee. Then it takes poses from those points and generates these MoSculpts. They can even be 3D printed. Check out this printing of a runner. So imagine you want to serve like Roger Federer. You could compare your own most sculpt to this one and see exactly what you're doing differently. Right now, the algorithm only reads with a single person, but the team wants to expand that to study multiple subjects at the same time. All right, would you let a robot operate on your eye? Well, six very brave people did. And I'll let my good friend, Dr. Nix, tell you how it went. The operation was a complete success. This marked the first time a robot had performed surgery on a human eye. The robot was designed by Dutch company Precise. Play on words, get it? Now in a trial, 12 patients had surgery to remove a membrane from the back of the eye. Now in half the cases, the surgeon used the robot. The other half were done manually. All the surgeries were successful, but in some of the robot-assisted cases, the surgeon performed better than usual. Researchers say next, they want to know if the robots can be used to deliver gene therapy directly to the retina. All right, check out the newest soft exosuit from the engineers at Harvard. It's not the first we've seen from them, but this one has a new feature. It reads how a person's body is responding to the suit and automatically adjusts the amount of assistance it gives for maximum efficiency. Now to test it out, US Army soldiers walked a 12 mile course. They used about 15% less energy than they would have without the suit. Now exoskeletons like this have a ton of potential. Beyond helping soldiers in the field, firefighters and other rescuers could use them to navigate rough terrain. Ford has already started using them in auto plants. And CNET's Lexi Savides got to try out Suit X. And the results? Well, they speak for themselves. Whoa! Do prove it! <laughs> what makes you say WTF? Let us know in the comments. That's going to do it for this show. I'm Andy Altman. Thanks for watching.